Villains are quite tricky. Considering how there are so many different kinds of villains, it's hard to know what makes certain villains work so well and others not. Given that, I want to explore why a certain villain works so well with just a single scene that says everything you need to know about him. So let's explore the truth about Daredevil's Wilson Fisk. In episode 12 of season 1, we follow Ben Urich, the journalist who's been working with Karen Page and recently with Daredevil as they try to expose Wilson Fisk's wrongdoings, even if Ben knows he's putting himself in danger by doing so. Yet he chooses to do it because because he knows it's the right thing to do, especially as he grows to become Karen's friend. Obviously, Fisk wouldn't be happy about Ben and Karen looking into his business, but recently they both went out to talk to Fisk's mother, where they learned Fisk killed his father when he was a boy, which Fisk found out about after he found Wesley's body, Jim Wesley being Fisk's right-hand man, and went through his phone. Wesley was killed by Karen Page in the previous episode, after he'd taken her with him to get her to change Ben Urich's mind on pursuing the story about Fisk. Karen obviously didn't take up the offer and ended up killing Wesley when she gets the opportunity. So Ben Urich has been fighting hard to be able to publish his story about Fisk, to be able to expose everything Fisk's done, everything he's been working hard on with Karen since the beginning of the season. So, after his boss fires him, he goes to talk to his wife. His wife, who has dementia and is in a hospital, and she convinces him that all he needs is to tell his story, no matter where or how, even if the internet is just full of noise. The world needs Ben Urich to tell the truth any way he can. So Ben Urich gets to his apartment, sits on his laptop to write the story exposing Wilson Fisk. However, the camera tilts up and we see Fisk himself sitting behind Ben. Fisk says that he's made mistakes since he was a boy and he's tried to learn and grow from them, but it's not always enough. Fisk apologizes to Urich because he thought Ben's days of being relevant were past, which explains why he didn't bother to get Ben killed before, but it seems like Fisk is genuinely sorry about underestimating Urich. Fisk then points out that Ben's been fired from the bulletin, and so asks Ben if rambling on the internet would change anything, to which Ben Urich says, People seek the truth, no matter where they find it. And Fisk replies with, That may have been the case when you and I were young. This world around us is preoccupied with celebrity weddings and videos of cats. You know, complicated issues, issues that matter. They take too much focus. They take too much time away from texting and the thousand channels on the satellite dish. Guess I have more faith in humanity. Uh, so did Christ, if I recall. Fisk says he'll go, but first he has one last question. Were you alone when you spoke to my mother? To which Ben says he was alone, protecting Karen one more time. Then Fisk asks if Ben killed Wesley, which Ben has no clue what he's talking about. Fisk says he didn't think it was Ben. You're a man of principle, of conviction. I understand that. I even admire it. But you went after my mother. That's not something that I can forgive. Ben then says he's written a lot of stories over the years, so he's been threatened a bunch of times to try to keep his mouth shut. To which Fisk says, But that is my mother that you brought into this, Mr. Yurik. My mother. So I am not here to threaten you. I'm here to kill you. For all intents and purposes, Fisk is a man of principle. He admires Ben for being the same, for trying to find the good in humanity. But Fisk doesn't believe in what Ben does. Fisk believes humans are doomed and there's no reason to believe humans are good, which is what he believes about Hell's Kitchen. The city is crumbling, filled with filth, and he's gonna cleanse it, he's gonna rebuild it no matter what. And Fisk being so protective over his mother is something that's extremely consistent with this character. We know he's very protective of certain people in his life, such as Vanessa and Wesley, but his mother especially since we know he killed his own father to protect his mother from him. Even though Ben is a man of principles, even though Ben is not a bad person, Fisk cannot forgive someone hurting his mother, the same way he couldn't forgive his father. That scene speaks so much about Fisk's character, it's just a big summary of his motivations and goals, boiled down to one single scene that results in the death of one of the main characters. A character who's always just try to do good, even in a world that seemingly doesn't have space for him anymore. What makes Fisk so compelling is how he sticks to his morals and principles so hard that you can see where he's coming from whenever he does what he does. Not because he's right, but because his motivations and convictions are so ingrained in his head and so consistent with what he's experienced throughout his life that his worldview becomes plausible despite the twisted way he sees the world. Wilson Fisk is a fantastic villain and his motivations are explored in depth, and I love that about him, and that scene just shows the care the writers put into making such a compelling villain and such a well-rounded character character as well, encapsulating all that Fisk is into a couple minutes where we see two characters whose views are driven by wanting a better world, but with opposing views as to how they can do it, while also showing Fisk's weakness, which is what the main characters exploit in future seasons to win against him. That's why this is my pick for one villainous scene. Thanks for watching.